Hello, everyone. Again, welcome to Verbling. Again. I am Teacher Oakley. Again. And in uh, this class, we are going to practice our conversational English. We're going to have a nice light conversation. Uh, all levels are welcome. Beginner, intermediate, expert, it doesn't matter. We have a very simple topic today. We're going to talk about pets, dogs, vroom, vroom, dogs and cats. Uh, uh, anyway, we'll just have a nice light conversation. Uh, I decided on this topic, I, I picked up this class very late, only half an hour ago. And uh, I was, I happened to be watching TV, I was watching a story about all the stray dogs in Sochi <laughs> at the Olympics. Apparently they're quite friendly. Ambassadors of goodwill, if you will. Uh, which I found kind of interesting. I, I thought it was interesting because uh, I'm an American and in America stray dogs are just not tolerated at all unless you live in the countryside and you have a lot of land to let your dogs run around. Uh, basically, dogs unsupervised at least, uh, just really not tolerated. They are co collected by some sort of officials, city officials usually, brought to a pound, arrested and thrown in jail, if you will. Um, obviously not in Sochi. I now live in the Philippines and much like Sochi, we have a lot of stray dogs. And also, much like Sochi, uh, the stray dogs are very friendly. It's not like you have to worry about the stray dogs. They, they are nothing to be concerned about. Children play in the streets and the dogs run around and nobody really pays any attention whatsoever. Not a big deal. Anyway, so I was curious to ask people about how stray dogs are treated in your country. Do people have dogs as pets? I know in some cultures dogs are considered as filthy animals and are never kept as pets. Uh, in any case, there we go. I'm talking to myself here, but uh, that's basically the types of things that uh, I'd like to talk to you about. So join me here at Verbling, www.verbling.com, and uh, talk to me, and I will help uh, correct your English sentence structure, grammar, vocabulary problems, but mostly we're just going to relax and have a nice conversation. Grab a cup of tea, click the join button, and we'll chat about your cat if you want. Uh, we can talk about anything related to pets. Uh, I enjoy talking about pet names. One of my favorite dogs ever was named Bill. <laughs> or actually, really, Bill the Dog was his full name. Very cool dog. I had a dog myself named Oscar. Uh, I don't know. In recent years, Americans have a seem to like to name their dogs people names. <laughs> Dave. I know another dog named Dave. It's kind of funny. Gets a little confusing in conversation occasionally. Did you pick Dave up? Why? Is Dave at work? <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon. Pardon me again. Anyhow, join me and we'll have a nice pleasant conversation about pets. Okay. 
Um, maybe those of you who are in the last class talking about advice with Andrea would like to give me advice about getting a pet. I don't know. You can practice on me. I'm here for you. Hello, Teresa. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? Uh, pretty, I'm doing pretty well, thank you. Uh, where are you from, Teresa? I'm from Spain. From Spain. Teresa, that's a lovely picture that uh, you have for your Google yeah. icon. What, where is that? It's maybe lit. Oh, it, is that a very old bridge or is that a natural formation? It's a old building. Very old. Oh, okay. Looks cool. Okay, Teresa, our topic we're going to have a conversation about is pets. Do you, do you have any pets, Teresa? Yes, of course. I have a dog in my home. You do? What's your dog's name? <laughs> Crispin. Crispin? Sí. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a great name. He's not named after Crispin Glover, is he? The actor. <laughs> Yes. He is? <laughs> That's great. That's totally cool. Excellent. And uh, can you use your English to practice uh, maybe describing your dog? What kind of dog is he? Well, it's difficult. My dog is Canitze. Sure. I don't know how to say in English. It's a small dog, the okay. color black. Um, very funny. Very funny. He tells jokes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. One thing, Teresa, when we're using English, this is a very common second language speaker mistake. We would never say He's a, he's a, okay, notice you said he's a small dog. Perfectly correct. Okay, adjective noun, small dog. With an article, a small dog. Great. Uh, but we would, in native speakers, we would never say the color black or the color is black. Sometimes yeah. I hear that as well. So, you know, instead we would, just like you use small. Maybe maybe combining adjectives. He's a small black dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, it sounds very uh, strange to us when people say, "Oh, I have a new car. The color red." It it does. I have a new red car. Sounds much more normal. Um, do you know what kind of breed is your dog? Do you know what I mean. In hmm. Spanish, is Caniche, but I don't know the name in English. Hmm. Can you, maybe it's similar to something yes. I know. Canite? I don't know. Hmm. Can you write it in the Verbling chat box? Is that possible? Teresa? Un seco. Okay. Put <laughs> I'm finding I, this in Word reference. Sorry? Yeah. Uh, in Word reference is this. Ah! Uh, okay. Yeah? Poodle. Ah, excellent. Now, Teresa, yeah. you, I have never had a poodle. However, I have read that poodles are one of the top three smartest kinds of dogs. Is, is yeah. uh, Crispin a smart dog? Very small dog. Very smart. Intelligent? Yes. Very, really? very. Okay. Yes. Why do you say that? Uh, sorry, could you repeat me? Why do you think he's intelligent? Why? 
Yeah, because what? he knows when my family are speaking of him, hmm. uh, he knows it. Okay. And he asks me something, for example, uh, it's food or to go out. Okay. Uh, All right. He's smart enough to ask for food or tell you, let you un know when he wants to go out. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. D uh, Teresa, did you have dogs when you were a child? Growing up, did you have pets? Uh, yes, but when I was a child, uh, we had uh, birds. Bird? Really? Only bird. What kind of a bird? One second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to have to figure out the English vocabulary. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's easy. That's Canary. Okay. Canary. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I know what a canary is. Okay. Uh, are canaries smart? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I have another question about Crispin. Can, can Crispin do any tricks, or does he have any special skills? Yes, <laughs> for example, uh, he can wall on two legs only, only two legs. He can walk. Walk? Yes, in his two legs. He can w wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. One more time. He can walk right to left. Walk on two legs. He can yeah. walk on two legs. Wow. Talented. He should be in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Teach him to ski. <laughs> That would be cool. Uh, wow. Okay. Very talented. Okay. Uh, now, I have two small children. So, Teresa, I'm going to ask for your advice. Do you have any children, Teresa? Are you? I, I have no, no idea about your family. If you're no, I haven't. But I have nephews. You have nephews? Uh, okay. I have nephews, yes. All right. What is your opinion about having a dog with small children? My children are very young. I'm asking for your advice. Good idea, for bad me, idea? Yeah. For me, it's a good idea because they learn how to take care of the pets and the necessities of these animals. Uh, yes, for me, it's a, a, the best idea. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, my only other challenge is that I live in an area, it's fairly urban. Uh, do you know what I mean, urban? No. Urban area. Uh, it's a city, pretty much. Urban area, okay, is a city area. Oh. Could you repeat how to say this? Sure I could, and I'll give you the next one, too. I wrote them in the Verbling chat box. Urban area Ooh. means it, an area that's more city-like. Yes. Lots of streets, lots of concrete, not many grassy areas. I don't have any parks nearby. A rural area is like countryside. Yes, yes. Okay. I know. All right. Well, when I lived in America... I currently live in the Philippines now with my family here. When I lived in America, I lived in the countryside, and I always had a dog, and uh, no problem. I enjoyed walking my dog, exercising with my dog, spent spending time with them. So it was not a problem, but I am hesitant, a little nervous about getting a dog 
in uh, er, in an, living in an urban area. Do do you live in an urban area? Is it rural? Is it suburbia? Outside a city? I live in an urban area. You do? Okay. Yeah. But I have a lot of parks near my house. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose if I walk far enough, there's a river side. Yeah. It's like a, oh, probably a, a half kilometer away, maybe. Depends if I can take a shortcut. If I have to go the long way, it's going to be like two kilometers to get there, which is a long way to, well, I don't know. Now, granted, I could use the exercise. That's true. Anyway, I'm deciding if I should get a dog or not. Now, the other thing is I have two small children, Teresa, one-year-old and two-year-old, two, uh, almost three. Yeah. Uh, so they're very young. So should I get a dog which is already trained or should I get a puppy? Mm -hmm. What do you think? You know what I mean, a puppy, right? Puppy, the meaning of puppy is? A puppy? A uh, baby dog. Ah, okay. A Which puppy is... living with uh, children? Well, a puppy living with my... I have two daughters, one year old and th almost three years old. I don't know if that's smart. For, for, my, for me? Yeah. It's, it's dangerous for the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Because children don't know how to take care with the animals. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, Teresa, uh, my mother-in-law has a cat and a dog. And they go yeah. to her. She lives nearby in the neighborhood. Whatever. That's where my kids are right at this moment, as a matter of fact. So they're actually pretty good when they're at, when they're there with the animals. Yeah. They've kind of gotten used to them, I guess. I, I see your point, though. <laughs> and I don't know if they can learn much about taking care of the puppy when they're that young. Actually, that's part of why I was waiting for both those reasons, <laughs> for all of those reasons. The, Exercise, taking a puppy that far, uh, the kids are too young, and even though it's a good idea, I agree with you, it's a good idea to help kids, children learn responsibility. I don't think they're old enough yet. Maybe I'll wait another two years or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, okay. So, all right, and enough about me and you. Let me ask you something. The reason I decided to do this class is I was watching uh, a, um, I think it was CNN. Uh, they were talking about in Sochi, the Winter Olympics. Yeah. Uh, by the way, have you seen any of the Winter Olympics? Yeah. You have? Has Spain won any, any medals yet? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. I but don't know. I, I think that no. I don't have, we don't have any uh, Okay, well, <laughs> keep trying. Uh, okay, a anyway, I was watching uh, a news program and they were, they did a segment, they did a piece, segment, yes. on, uh, on how there were, it was about how there were many, many stray dogs in Sochi, just running around in the streets, <laughs> loose, mm -hmm. and nobody seemed to do anything with them or care anything about it. Uh, how about in Spain? Are there stray dogs? Sorry? Uh, do you have stray dogs in the street? Stray dogs? Stray, stray dogs. Dogs with no owner. They live in oh. the street. Ay, straight dogs. Eh, there are there are straight dogs when people go on holidays in the summer. They leave their dogs in the 
in the see in the city or in the forest. Yes. Really. Yeah, a lot. Really. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, what happens but, to these dogs? What yeah. Uh, the government take take them and they go to the uh, social social house. Okay. And finally, they death. Uh? Yes. Because Do if if nobody ah. buy this dog, they die. Okay. Actually, that's very similar to what happens in the United States. Uh, I'm an American. Stray dogs would be rounded up. Rounded up, that means collected by government officials, actually, dog catcher, usually city, city mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, or a, I mean, even small town, every town has a dog catcher or somebody in charge of animal control. And then they would be taken to, uh, you know, what is it called? Um, humanitarian, humani uh, uh, well, to a dog pound, but uh, um, in the United States there's dog pounds, I, th I don't know if they're, government or I think they're privately sponsored maybe partly government partly private I'm not sure but uh, they take the animals they give the animal shots they spay or neuter the animals spay or neuter they make it so the animal cannot have babies right mm. do the surgery and then the animal, cat or dog, has three weeks. And uh, if a citizen, normal person, can go get the dog, then the dog goes home with them. That's, that's about it. If nobody picks them in three weeks, then they are euthanized, uh, which is the formal way to say they are put down in English when when we kill an animal for whatever reason uh, we say we had to put down the animal if, put if down I'll, is the same like yeah. die, to kill right. the kill yeah that's right yeah, okay. Okay, okay. much more formally euthanize they they try to do it painlessly you know in a in a humane way. Oh, that's what it's called. <laughs> that reminds me. Okay, in America, the the organization that takes care of animals is called the Humane Society. Hmm. Uh, anyway, yes, euthanize is formal, and a put down is more informal, but it it could be because of what we're talking about or it could be because the animal is very very old has cancer in pain or maybe a, a horse breaks breaks its legs or something anyway the animal doesn't it doesn't look like the animal will get better so they put it down yeah uh, in America, if I go into the Humane Society, which I have done, that's how I got my pets, my dogs. Go to the Humane Society. You have to pay for the shots, you know, medical shots, the sh injection, yeah, all right, and uh, the operation to make sure they can't have babies. Yeah, but uh, that's it. No extra fees. You, that's if you pay for that you can bring the dog home that's it so I did that twice I I asked uh, Teresa I asked them okay show me the dog which is about to be put down <laughs> show me the dog that is two weeks and six days one day away on death row 
So that's the dog I got. <laughs> I don't care what he looks like, <laughs> big, small. I don't care. I want the dog that will be very grateful and thankful to me. <laughs> that's right, I saved your life. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I had a lot of dogs when I was a child. I had a big family and, I don't know, different kinds of dogs. As an adult, I had two dogs because I'm over 50. I had one dog for one dog for 13 years and one dog for 17 years, actually. So I only really had two dogs. But uh, one was a black Labrador. Do you know what that is? More or less. It, it's the black dog. He loves to hunt. Yeah, yeah hunt ducks, birds. Uh, and the other dog I had was a St. Bernard, actually. Uh, actually, he was a crazy dog. Uh, he was a St. Bernard Beagle Mix. He, uh, St. Bernard Beagle Mix. Yeah. <laughs> mix, okay. half and half crazy dog because beagles are kind of small right small hunting dogs and St. Bernard's are huge really really big dogs so he uh, these kind of mixed dogs in English we say he's a mongrel m-o-n-g-r-e-l mongrel mixed anyway he was a crazy looking dog he looked like a giant beagle. <laughs> he was big, like a St. Bernard, but he looked like a beagle. He, he, he looked ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He was funny. Funny looking. But he was a great dog. Uh, mostly he was smart and mostly he was very good, but occasionally very bad. Has has uh, Crispin ever been a very bad dog? No. No? No. Really? Very bad? Very bad. Very no. naughty. <laughs> he only was very bad when he was a puppy. Uh, uh, yeah. Because he was crazy. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> she was crazy, but she's recovered. He, he, he ran a lot in the street, <laughs> and I had to run <laughs> behind me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, yeah. My dog was very good, except there's one thing he really hated. He, he was fine. I could leave him in my house and go to work, and he, he was totally fine. And uh, he would be okay if I left him at my friend's house and left for a little while. Not a long while, but a little while. But he did not like to be put in a small space, I think because he was in the humane society and he was in a very small space. He, he didn't like that at all. So, one time he followed me to work, and uh, I had, I think I rode my bike to work or something, and I didn't realize he followed me to work, or he tracked me, I don't know how he got to work, but he came to work and there was no way I could leave to take care of him, I was very busy. So I put him in my friend's, actually my boss's car. And he he destroyed the interior of the car. He ripped the cloth off the ceiling. He ripped the seats apart. It was horrible. I had to pay like two thousand dollars. It was bad. It was bad. Bad dog. Very naughty. Yeah. But it in a human society, uh, you can buy animals. Yeah, uh, the human oh. hu humane society collects stray animals, yeah, stray yeah. dogs, and stray cats, and you you just pay for the medical 
costs, the shots or medicine and yeah. the surgery. Medicine like here. Oh, same. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, very cheaper. Yes. Than, than if you buy a, a pet in a shop. It's cheaper. Yes, much. Okay, we, much cheaper. We don't usually use very with cheaper, with a comparative like cheaper. We we if if you want to say if you want to uh, modify comparatives, cheaper, smaller, faster, we say much, much smaller, much bigger, much faster, much more expensive. Like it's more expensive. Okay, okay, not not usually very. Uh, not very. Not very. Not no. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now think about this. We say very important, very fast, very small, very yeah. bad dog. Yeah. Okay. Very plus an adjective is totally okay, but with a comparative, small er with the er, faster, stronger. We don't use very. We use much, much stronger, much smaller, much faster. Much, you know, ones where we have to use more to compare, more expensive, more intelligent. Then we use much more expensive, much it, more intelligent. The math, it is on the pen of the, the name is contable or, un, or uncountable. Uh, math, well, water, math, money, math. No. no, this is a little bit of a different rule, but yes, you, you are right. I mean, I shouldn't say no. You're Yes, you're correct, <laughs> because we use many for countables, many cats, many pencils, sure, but we use much for uncountables, but you're talking about nouns, all right? A cat, a pencil, a pen, many pens, many pencils, many cats. We use much for uncountables like I don't have much milk. Uh, I don't have much money. <laughs> yeah. These are uncountables, but you're that's nouns. You're talking about nouns. I'm talking about adjectives where I don't even really need a noun. Um, for example, he is much smaller. He is very smaller. Small is an adjective, so I'm modifying an adjective. I'm talking about when we modify or change adjectives. Never mind the nouns. He is a much smaller dog, for example. I can use much, even though I know I have dog. Dogs are countable. I, I realize that, but I could. I of course I could never say he's a. I can't say he's a very smaller dog. Obviously, I can't say he's a many smaller dog. Much smaller dog. With comparatives, comparing two things, when we use the ER. Do you understand? Teresa, do you follow? Sorry. Yes, hey. yes, yes. I understand. Okay. 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 Great. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, all right, so it has basically the same system in Spain as in the United States. That's good. I think it's a good system. In the Philippines, where I now live, I live in the Philippines now, They their system is no system. <laughs> None at all. There are no humane societies. There are no places that actually deal with animals. There is no government organization that collects strays or if a giant snake crawled into my house, there's no one to call. I can call the police, I guess. Mm. But, the, but there's no animal control mm. at all. It doesn't exist in the Philippines. No such thing. So there are many stray dogs and cats, definitely. In the uh, in the Philippines on the streets. In fact, when I put out my garbage so the dogs and cats don't get in the garbage, I have to put uh, food in a separate container 
and I I put it outside my house, obviously, so outside my house, so the garbage man can get it. But when I do that, I I leave one open. So if I have scraps of food, I I'm feeding the stray animals. They just come and if I do that, then they don't tear apart my garbage. Right. Uh, um, they leave my garbage alone. They don't knock it over and tear it apart and throw garbage all over the street. So instead I have a kind of a small pail, plastic pail, so any food, if I have leftover food or is whatever, uh, any food that I can't eat or don't want to eat or whatever, I put it in the pail. And then, <laughs> so really I'm feeding them. But many Filipinos do that. Because it keeps the dogs and cats, the stray dogs and cats, have learned that they don't, okay, don't tear up the garbage, that you, you get a separate thing with food. <laughs> it's funny. It's weird. It's very weird. It's like everybody takes care of the stray pets. I, I don't know. Yes, but in, in Spain, for example, there are a lot of cats in the street. Um, ah, really? And people don't mind this. Right. Right. No. They they are hitting for the cars a lot. Re okay. Same thing here. Uh, there are many cats, and there are many dogs. Uh, one thing I think is funny: the the show I was watching about Sochi, they talked about how the dogs were very friendly. And yeah. not, you know, and the same thing here in the Philippines. There are many stray dogs, but they're very, very friendly. They're timid. They're, they're shy. If you jump, you know, they they jump and run away. They they're very shy. They're very cautious about approaching approaching people. The cats too. They just they're very they're not dangerous at all. Far from it. Um. Okay. Interesting. All right. Uh, new, uh, different, same topic but slightly different. Uh, Teresa, in Spain, where where do you live in Spain? What part yeah. of the country? In Southern. The north, in the north? north of Spain. Yes. Okay. Nice. That's where I'd like to go if I went to Spain. Everybody goes to southern Spain. I'd like to go to the north. I'm a mountains kind of guy, but um, are there mountains where you live? What? Mountains? Oh, there are a lot of mountains here. Oh, I, I like mountains. I'm a mountain. I'm from the mountains. <laughs> yes, yes. Very good. Are you? I you can see see these of of my win in my window. I can okay. see the mountains. Oh, okay. All right, uh, great. That's awesome. It has nothing to do with my question. I don't know why I was, <laughs> but I, I just wanted to say, where you live or in in your area, do people have any unusual or strange kind of pets, like snakes or snakes, snakes, snakes? rabbits, a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, rabbits. I... Are, yeah. What? Rabbits are beautiful, but they smell very bad. What? What? Rabbits? Yes. <laughs> Did you ever have rabbits? Like when you were no. younger? No. No. I only eat rabbits. I I eat rabbits too. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So some people have snakes. Yes, a lot. Really? Hmm. Why is that so popular? Would how about you? Would you ever have a snake? No. No. No, yeah. I don't like this. Many Americans have strange pets. Lizard, snake, uh, spiders, scorpions. Yeah. Things, things like that. <laughs> I don't know. Ferrets. Ferrets are kind of cool. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, here in the Philippines, nobody has a strange pet. I've never seen only dog and cat. That's it. Nothing else, ever. Um, because there's enough snakes <laughs> already. You don't need to have a pet snake. It's kind of crazy. Uh, okay. Oh, going back to... Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Going back to talking about Crispin. Okay. Uh, how did you... Did you train Crispin yourself? Or did you have help? I don't understand well. Did you train... Your Try dog? Him. No. <laughs> no, no. Teach him. You know, everything. No? No. No, no. Who, who did? He's an easy dog. He, he didn't want to stay in a sofa, in the bed, and neither like that. Uh-huh. And, no sé, he's, he's very easy for me. So he was very easy to train. To train, yes. Okay. Uh, but uh, obviously he knows to go to the bathroom outside. He, uh, does, does, he, does he walk with you? Yes. All right. And he behaves? He... <laughs> no. He... <laughs> <laughs> He's nice. Okay. All right, so he doesn't run around and bark and no, no, no. But, but when he he, he was a puppy, yes. <laughs> okay. Do you have any crazy stories about Crispin? Has he ever no. ever done anything kind of crazy? He crossed a road. He he has done a lot of bad things, but. <laughs> He, but he now, what? He has done a lot of bad things. He has done a lot of bad things. Mm, haven't we all? <laughs> but mm. in the past. Now sure. he's older and he's correct. <laughs> okay. He's never done anything really crazy. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you a story about my dog. Uh, Shelby, the black lab. She, she was a girl. Uh, I, I love I love the mountains. I love to camp and hike and fish. And uh, very early in the spring, I think it may have even been the first day of fishing season where I lived. It was still very cold. I, uh, either beginning of May or end of April. End of April, I think. I, I think there was still snow on the ground in spots. But... Uh, the lakes and ponds were were not ice; they were open. Anyway, uh, myself and my dog took my canoe. Do you know canoe? Yeah. Canoe. Okay. I took my canoe and I took my uh, my tent and my camping equipment, and we went to a very remote area, and I fished all day and then I went to a little tiny island, a very small island. Uh, just big enough for a tent and a campfire and anyway, me and just myself and my dog were having a nice peaceful trip. And uh, so I I I came up to the island with my canoe and I pulled the canoe up onto the island and uh, I set up my tent and I was inside my tent, and I was unrolling my sleeping bag and getting thing, I, organizing inside the tent. And suddenly I hear, uh-oh, uh oh no. And I, I had problems getting outside the I, tent, and I came outside the tent, and my dog had jumped in the canoe, and her movement from jumping had caused the canoe to slide off the island and she was floating away <laughs> down the river <laughs> by herself. And it, remember, it was very, very cold. I think that 
really the temperature was still maybe 10 degrees maybe 15 so the water was really cold and I had to take off all my clothes because I didn't want to get my clothes wet so I stripped naked all my clothes and then I had to swim as fast as I could to catch my stupid dog it really it, it took about maybe 50 meters before <laughs> I, I caught her yeah that was not fun. <laughs> I didn't like that. She almost stranded me on the island, which would not have been good. Bad dog. Stupid dog. Stupid me, actually. I should have tied my canoe to a tree or to a rock or something. Really stupid me. But obviously, I liked camping more than my dog did. <laughs> She wanted to go home, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I used to very much enjoy hiking and camping with my dogs, bo both of them, either of them. Uh, is there anything you like to do? Do you ever take your dog uh, in your car or? Yeah, uh, all the time. All the time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But now I remember that when I was a child, uh, my family has a dog, a big dog in a, in a village. And one day uh, he gone out. Okay. He went out. Went out. Yes. He, he robbed a, a yam. He what? He robbed, he robbed uh, the neighborhood, in the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, he, he, he ran away uh, in the neighborhood? A goal. What? He chased a girl? No, no, no. A cook. A cook. A chicken? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> okay. They cook and he brings this uh, to my house with the cooking in their, in their mouth. Yes. <laughs> was it alive? It was very embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm sure. Was the chicken alive? Chicken alive? Yeah, was it a. Uh, okay, you said Who a cock. A, you... an, older, an older chicken. Yeah. He he caught. Did he catch a, a live chicken or a cooked yeah. chicken? <laughs> cooked chicken. Cooked. Oh, he, was... he, ki he killed the chicken. Oh, he killed the chicken. Okay, I got yeah. it. All right. I got he it. beat no. the chicken and he. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that would be. That would be very dangerous where I live. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, in the, in the Philippines, many, I don't know any women who do this, men do this, I don't, but many men uh, raise roosters, with, it's not incorrect to call them a cock, but a, a rooster, male chicken, all right, usually we call them roosters. Okay, in the Philippines they raise roosters and they're pets, they're basically pets. They don't live in the house, but they can live right outside the house uh -huh. on, a, on a string or on a leash. They have their own little house, like a dog house, except it's the personal little house of that one rooster. And they raise the rooster, and many of them fight. They have chicken fight, rooster fights yeah. in the Philippines. It's legal here. Um, and some of them just raise, really, They, I swear, they just raise the rooster like a pet. They never fight. Let them fight. They never fight. They never, they just like them. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, so they would get very angry <laughs> if I had a dog that killed a rooster. My goodness. And that may be dangerous. Some of these roosters here in the Philippines, because of their breeding, they're very expensive. So a rooster can be... A, Many thousands, tens of thousands of of pesos. 
very expensive. Could cost me a fortune. Yeah, not good. Uh, I I I told you about my dog who tore apart my boss's uh my boss's car. Another time he came to work. I was a chef, okay, which is why I couldn't leave when it's dinner time and people are ordering food. I can't just walk away. Anyway. And another time I was at work and uh, and uh, my dog had caught had, I don't know how but he'd caught a uh, beaver do you know what a beaver is no it has a big teeth and they make a dam in the river uh, what do I, do? I, I don't know but it's called a beaver uh, it's a big, it looks like an in oh, yeah. big, okay. it has the flat tail and if it smacks the tail on the water it's very loud. Anyway, somehow my dog, the giant one, the St. Bernard Beagle, he, he was really big. He, he weighed like, he probably weighed about, he weighed as much as I did, so he probably weighed 75 kilos. He's pretty big. Anyway, he yeah. killed a he killed a beaver and he <laughs> he brought him up to the restaurant where I where I worked and he dropped the beaver right on the steps. <laughs> like here you go. Cook this. I, I don't know. <laughs> like a gift. And then he kind of pushed it with his nose and was sitting there all very proud, like, look what I caught. You can eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was quite embarrassing, actually. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, uh, yeah, pets are fun. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Have you ever had a cat, Teresa? No, no, I don't like the cats. You don't like cats. You're a dog no, person. Because... Why? Why don't you like cats? Because I can't trust on its. <laughs> you can't trust. I think that there are <laughs> there are bad animals. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't mind cats, but you know, so, uh, a dog knows that you're the boss, but a cat thinks he's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, cats always want to bring you presents, which is not fun either. Frogs and mice and snakes and bats. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of fun. Uh, did did you have? I forgot. Did you tell me? Did you have pets when you were a child? Yes, I, I had birds. Oh, birds. That's right. You told me you had birds. Right. Uh, uh, canaries. Yellow birds. Canary. Yeah, right. Uh, I remember. Uh, okay. I've never had birds. No? What's it, what's it like to have a bird? They sing well. They sing well? Okay. Is that nice? Are they messy? Are they stinky? Do they take much work or not? Yes, too much work. Really? Really. I, I've never had one, so I don't know. What, you have to clean their cage a lot? I don't them? want to have more birds now. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah, no. No. Enough with the birds. Uh, okay. They are very dirty. And dirty? we have to, to clean <laughs> a lot of. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw, here in the Philippines, some people have birds. I forgot. Yeah, I, actually, that's fairly kind of common here. They have parakeets here, the blue-green ones. Yes, yes. They are beautiful, but... <laughs> yeah, they are pretty, but, yeah, I don't, I don't really... I have no desire to have a bird. <laughs> at all. Sometimes I think about getting fish. Have you ever had fish, Teresa? 
Uh, uh, no, I, I haven't, but, but in my house there was when my brothers and sisters were child. Oh, okay. I, I've never known this. Okay, well, tropical fish, goldfish? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I have, a, I want to have a lot of fish. Yes, I like a lot. You want to have fish? I want to have, I want to have fish. Yeah. Fish. The what? plural of fish? Fish. Oh, that's a really complicated problem. <laughs> good question. Very good question. Okay. <coughs> this is very complicated because it's one of these words that can be... Uh, obviously, I know you understand uh, countable and uncountable. Yeah. It depends how you mean it. Um, okay, there are two fish in the fish tank. I, I wouldn't say there are two fishes in the fish tank. Um, however, if, if I am talking about many types of fish, uh, I can say he has many fishes in his aquarium because I'm talking about the different types of fish he has in his aquarium. As the speaker, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about kinds of fish. But if I'm just thinking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 30, 40, number of fish, quantity, I would have to say he has many fish in his aquarium. Mm -hmm. So either way to say it would be correct. This your your meaning is slightly different. So fish can be uncountable talking about fish in general, just fish. There are you probably have heard there are many fish in the sea. Oh, okay. Have, have you heard that idiom, that expression? Yeah. Yeah, there are Okay, many fish in the sea. Sure, it's not there are many fishes in the sea, <laughs> which would equally be true. There are many kinds of fish in the sea. But you will, you will hear it both ways. But generally, fish is uncountable, and you, sh you should not say fishes, uh, unless you're talking about kinds of fish. Actually, it's quite the same as uh, fruit. Fruit is the same kind of thing. Fruit is actually uncountable, as strange as that may sound. It's totally strange. English makes no sense. Vegetable, vegetables. Vegetable is a countable word. However... But it's a plural noun. Yeah, yeah, I can say vegetables. Okay. There are many vegetables in my shopping cart. I can say that. Um, but fruit is uncountable. I know it makes no sense at all. I agree. But it works just like fish. If I'm talking about many types of fruits, oh, I have many fruits in my cart, then I mean I have apples and bananas and oranges and pineapple oh. and mango. Many types. It's the same kind of thing. Uh, okay, Teresa, I've enjoyed our conversation, but my hour is up. I've got to go, in fact, so I can start a new Google Hangout and a new Verblin class. So thank you. It was very nice to meet you. Very nice to talk with you. Thank you. Hope, hope I see you again. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.